We're with uh, Rob Van Dam here. It's great to see you at the Cauliflower Alley Club. What brings you here this year? Uh, what brings RVD here this year is the lovely Katie Forbes. Hi, baby. Hey. And um, she is a wrestler, too. She wanted to check out the Cauliflower Alley Club. I've been here once before a few years ago with Fonzie, so I had an idea of what to expect. And um, it's cool. It's um, a good socializing event for the um, old school wrestlers, some of the fans, but uh, a lot of it has to do with the boys uh, uh, giving each other awards, marking out on each other, I guess, whatever, at the banquet. Um, and uh, I love Vegas. And what do you think about Nevada legalizing marijuana? Because there's definitely the scent of it in the air everywhere you go around here now. Everywhere I go, everywhere I smell that. It's almost like a big cloud that just follows and it's crazy. Uh, yeah, Nevada is, um, they're a pretty progressive state, you know I mean? Like they've been, this has been uh, coming for a while. It wasn't like uh, a huge surprise. It's awesome. It's uh, labeled Sin City um, because it is a place where you can find whatever your vice is when you come here as a tourist from out of town and they want to keep it that way they want you to be able to get whatever you want so that you'll uh, drop all your money gambling um at the tables i don't gamble hopefully that won't change you know but uh, i just love everything about the city um there's uh, there's so much to do and there's so much energy all the time you know conventions and uh and at nighttime, there's a million things to do. Daytime, a bunch of stuff to do. So it's awesome that they've uh, legalized uh, cannabis recreationally because you can show your ID if you're an adult uh, and you don't need a med card, which is a loophole that I uh, previously had. And and uh, that, and they didn't have very many places to, to be able to buy it before. So um, super cool. The idea is they're hoping to add some uh, tourism attraction and um, I think it will they gotta they gotta figure out where they're gonna let you smoke it though in Canada it's becoming legal too that's where we're from uh, what do you think about that Canada's been ahead of us uh, the, the whole time I mean for years and years uh, with Vancouver of course um, and then uh, and then in, in Toronto but like uh, Mark Emery the uh, the Prince of Pot he's been looking at uh, facing uh, extra um, extra addition, but uh, and, and I don't know what the I, I don't know if that's over or not. But it was he was just he was sending seeds out of Canada, out of British Columbia, everywhere, and he wanted he wanted to overpopulate the world with pot so that they could never eradicate it. And I mean, it is. I don't think they're going to be able to get rid of it. And, and the more people realize how ridiculous it is to keep funding the efforts to get rid of weed when it can help so many people and most of the negatives are complete bullshit you know and the more people know about that um, the more we're gonna see other states also being okay with it they're everywhere they've been they've been lower lowering it uh, the uh, the penalties for it um, city by city state by state everywhere and uh, it's, it's outdated. I mean, since 1937, they've been telling people that it makes you crazy and violent, and it's still, still a Schedule One controlled substance, which means the most dangerous, uh, the most uh, harmful to the body and society, zero medicinal value, and it's still there, even though, even though we all know now that it has medicinal benefits, and so many states have jumped on it, and, uh, we're looking at almost half the states that have uh, medicinal programs, but um, it takes more than that to actually mandate a federal change, which will happen before the uh, before the number mandates it. Because common sense just tells you that uh, it is um, lies and BS, and and it's bad. It's it's all it's all for money. Everything's for money. But I mean, it's not it's not just that they're. Uh, lying and giving misinformation and always have to scare people away from weed but also like they're letting people suffer and die because they'd rather um try to make money on the pharmaceutical end of it which is business but on the morality issue 
Um, it, it never has been a fair fight. So, uh, hey, mm, what? what? Um, so anyway, yes, I'm all for it. And uh, by the way, schedule two on the controlled substance list, meaning uh, safer for you and higher in medicinal value. That's where you will find cocaine and meth. And that right there is ridiculous. And alcohol is actually much more dangerous a drug than, than weed. Yeah, um, which I used to just, uh, I used to be against everything just because, um, because of that, because I felt I was in the fight so much. Now, you know, I, you know, I think alcohol, anything in moderation, whatever, uh, I, I believe adults should have the, the right, you know, to live life as an adult. But, but you're right, statistics show you. Is that Ivory D? I know him. Um, yeah, statistically, you know, besides car crashes, it straight up, it straight up kills you. You drink so much alcohol that it, it will rot your liver, you'll die. Marijuana, it can't do that. It's not toxic enough. And do you think WWE will take it off their banned substance list if enough states uh, legalize it? Um, only, only when the federal guidelines change. They, they won't do it when, when there's enough states. I think they're, um, I don't want to quote, I don't want to say how many states, but uh, it, it's, I think we're like two states shy of half. But either way, because of their, um, because they're publicly trained, because they have the sponsors, because of their whole agenda of uh, the audience they target w with everything, they'll do it when the um, federal government says, it's legal, and I don't expect them to do it before. By the way, uh, when I wrestled there the first time around between uh, 2001 and uh, 2006 or seven or whatever, uh, they didn't test at that time for it. They started afterwards after Eddie Guerrero died, which had like nothing to do with it, but that's, that's what happened. So where are you wrestling now? PCW, I've heard uh, you're wrestling for them out in California. Anywhere else? Um, yeah, but nowhere regularly. Like, I, uh, I wrestle, uh, I pretty much do everything, like, as little as possible. I like being off and uh, enjoying life. So uh, most of my matches are overseas. Um, in February, I was in uh, England. And uh, next thing I have for sure right now, uh, we're both going to be going to uh, Australia. And uh, we did that last year. But... Uh, that's uh, it, the last last three matches, or I'm sorry, last three years. I've had I think like less than ten matches a year, and um, it, unless something happens to change that, then then um, you know don't uh, don't don't expect uh, to see uh, me in your town necessarily. Definitely not on a long tour, being out on the road, going town to town, because. I ain't really all about that life no more. <laughs> and where can people follow you on uh, social media? Uh, the Real RVD, everywhere. And uh, are you the real Katie Forbes? No. Yep, I'm the Katie Forbes. The Katie Forbes. Yeah, how long have you two been together? Two years. Two years. Two years. Yeah. Uh, she wrestles for a while, and um, she's known from Wildcat Wrestling, and uh, she does a bunch of... Uh, uh, um, Bunch of different indie shows, some of them regularly. She's been in India and she's on her way up, making a name for herself. And um, I've already been there, so uh, it works out really well that we uh, <laughs> appreciate that about each other. <laughs> and last last question here did you see any of the new kickboxer movies the remakes with uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme and uh, and the new guy Ali Moussou I, I saw one of them I don't know which one it was but he he did the uh, the famous dance at the end with their rolling credits so that's the one that I saw yeah, <laughs> yeah. all right well thanks a lot for talking to us and we hope you enjoy your time here Okay, cool, man. Happy Cauliflower Alley Club.